What if one of the world's leading vocational schools teamed up with a local company to create real career opportunities for our young Caymanians? Well, I'm talking with the person that's making that happen. This will be some of the opportunities available to students once they yeah. graduate your course. Yeah. His name is Michael Miles, director at the newly formed Inspire Cayman Training. You can have a career in plumbing, electrical, HVAC, carpentry, painting, uh -huh. um, site management. I mean, there's quite frankly, there's probably a hundred careers that you can have within just this context of construction. And in addition to that, you can be a small business owner. You can mm. be an entrepreneur. So there's loads of opportunities right now that as young Caymanians, as Caymanians in general, we are not taking advantage of because of the lack of training that we have. However, there's one company in Cayman that's been offering vocational training to its employees since 1966. This program is proudly presented by CUC who has now partnered with Inspire Cayman Training Limited to assist in the oversight of vocational training programs and also to showcase the career opportunities now available in Cayman. The last statistics that I saw in 2016-17 was well over 7,000 people that we have on a work permit yeah. for the automotive and the construction industry and it's growing. In America right now, the last statistic that I saw, it was well over 30 million jobs within this field within the construction field. So you're not limited to Cayman? No, you get a certification, yeah. you get a card, you can go on to a site and say, listen, I'm NCCR certified, and they can pull up all your credentials. Mm. Um, NCCR is in well over 20 countries mm. worldwide. It operates out of America and it have over 4,000 plus assessment centers. So for instance, if you start your course here and you decide to relocate, I can find you, you know, a center, the closest center to your house, and you can go finish your course there. You don't have to start over, you just continue on and start. So if you start something in carpentry, yeah. you can just finish your carpentry course in another country. What everybody's thinking about is money. Yeah. How much cash can I make as a, a tradesman in Cayman? How lucrative is it? From an apprentice that's making eight or nine dollars an hour to a professional, uh, a contractor or a carpenter, you're making seven to eight dollars an hour. My HVAC person, I am paying eighty dollars an hour. To mm -hmm. my plumber, I'm yeah. paying sixty dollars an hour. My electrician, and we all know that. that we call it. We, we call up somebody, right. so and before you know it, <laughs> you are no, making yeah. a lot of money. Less than an hour, right? they still get precisely. A but these hundred. are also the jobs. We have almost ten thousand jobs yeah. that are dominated by the expat community, and it, a lot of it's because we don't have the training programs for a lot of our kids to go into. I have been in loads of programs mm -hmm. with young people mm -hmm. that wanted to get into the trades, but I can't refer them anywhere because there's nowhere to refer them to, right? And a lot of these kids, they can't afford to go, like they can't afford $30,000 to go to school, but can they afford three or 4,000? Absolutely. I've worked in the social work system for a long time in different capacities yeah. from managing Bonaventure Home to Marine Institute to dealing with young people within education. I've buried kids, you know, there's a number of kids that were shot in the whole gang violence. We're not, you know, we're not keen to head in our country. I've seen kids drop out of school because traditional school wasn't for them. Mm -hmm. I have visited every lockup in this country bailing kids out or visiting kids. And at the end of the day, I like I got tired. Like I'm, I get tired now of picking up the newspaper and reading about children that I have worked with from 10 years ago that I knew that if we didn't do something, would eventually go to prison. Right. But one of the things that they have in common is that they're not employable, right? They don't. They never finished high school. They're not going off to college. They're not employable. So after speaking with Michael, I got the chance to talk with some of the employees working with Phoenix Construction, one of the leading construction companies in Cayman, and one of the partners with Inspire Cayman Training Limited. Remember, companies like Phoenix Construction will provide job opportunities for students after they complete the course. So today I'm standing here with Chris, and you're doing some staining work. What's the future for, for this lumber? Well, I'm staining this to do a friend, some, we're doing a friend, so this is just putting some finishing touches on it and I'll give it a nice look. How long you been in the construction industry? Well, I've been hired with Phoenix now for 11 months now, okay. going on to a year now. How did you get your job? How, how, how was that process um, getting introduced to, to Phoenix? Well, with my process, it was a whole different process still. I was, yes. I was locked up in prison and we, oh. was, we was doing a, um, a program in prison, the Fresh Start program. Uh -huh. You know, Ms. Caesar, Mr. Borden, the director of prison, and 
Phoenix came on board and Encompass came on board and Clans Construction came on board and I'm near to coming out now so they took me on and if I continue to do good, hopefully when I get out I have a full-time job with them. Excellent. And what is it that, uh, that you like about this industry and let's be honest, what is it that, that we don't like about the construction industry? Well, I'm just thankful, you know, to have yeah. work to do. I like the construction industry because it's very challenging and every day you learn something new and new challenges every day. So. I don't have nothing I don't like about it, you know? I, I like it. I wish I'd take it up from a long time ago. Chris, thank you. Thank you, bro, um, for the interview. Respect, yeah. Inspire Cayman Training Limited is partnering with many local companies to provide placements for students after completion of their NCCER course. I'm learning that companies in Cayman are coming together to help make a difference and try to solve some of our challenges. It seems like the construction industry could take the lead. Phoenix has partnered with Michael Miles on the NCCR course on your construction site. What do you expect if a student graduated from the NCCR program? I expect them to show up on time, show up every day, do the best job they can, keep their, for the most part, keep their mouth closed, their <laughs> ears open, and, and, and learn from experienced guys on the job. They get the, the basics in school, they get the, a taste of what they're supposed to do, but then they come to the job and some guy who's been an electrician or a plumber or a carpenter mm -hmm. for 25 years is going to tell them a thousand times more than what that guy in school could, could teach them. What is different, you think, from a classroom environment compared to uh, what we're standing in right now? Classroom environments, everything's controlled. You know, mm. they, they, they set up something and it's, it's all like it's supposed to be. In the, in the real world of construction, it doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. You have a set of plans, there's always something wrong. It's, not, it's, not, it's never exactly like it is on paper. Uh, you run into the weather, you run into stuff gets damaged. Uh, you just has, have to improvise all the time. And you, you come, what, what's your background? How many years have you been in the construction industry? Uh, since 94. I'm retired Air Force. And then from military, I went into construction. You, you told you don't uh, mess up on your side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not uh, known as flexible. Uh, so, uh, but I worked in, I've worked in other islands. I've worked in Anguilla. I've worked in St. Kitts. Mm -hmm. This is my second time in, uh, in Cayman. Uh, here, everyone tends to do a little bit of every level which can be difficult because when you transition from a, a low-end project, maybe mm. they're doing somewhere else and they come into our project, they think they set the standards. You know, a lot of times the trades come on and they think they set the standards, but that's not the way it works. Our clients set the standards, we provide them, and they do what we tell them to do. You know, our, our, our trades do what we tell them to do. Next, I got to sit in on an actual NCCER lesson. I'm very passionate about helping other people learn about things that they are interested in learning, especially things that will help them uh, be a better uh, contributor to society, especially like things such as uh, vocational training. What do you think is the difference why, why people or why students fail uh, and succeed in a vocational training course? Sometimes it, it comes down to you know, ability, but most of the time it's just about attitude, you know, about whether or not they really want it. So as long as they want it and they try hard, pretty much anybody can achieve anything. So your specialty is automotive technology. Um, what else will be offered? We've, well, we've partnered with CUC. They're our accredited training sponsor. And they've been offering NCCER training courses for over 15 years. Mm -hmm. And so basically we're just going to be able to complement what they've been doing. Right now, we're gonna start out with some of the basic courses. Uh, we're gonna have uh, Tools for Success which is a human resources soft skills course. And we're also gonna have a, the core curriculum, which will give them the basics such as safety and hand tools and things like that. So you were saying that aside from the, the skills, the skill set, mm -hmm. you're also gonna introduce uh, time management, productivity, how to dress in the workplace, all of the other areas you guys would also cover. Right, yeah, we've done a lot of research here in Cayman, checking with companies and asking them, what do you need? Uh -huh. And honestly, that's been one of the biggest things that they've had an issue with, is making sure that the, the employees that come to them mm -hmm. already know how to deal with how to dress, mm -hmm. you know, making sure they're at work on time and that kind of thing. So we're gonna make sure that everybody understands that first before we then move on into the various different subject areas. And we're gonna just start out with five. We're gonna have construction, craft laborer, and carpentry, electrical, 
uh, HVAC and plumbing, all from NCCER. So the, the students can start out with the level one course, and then if they decide that that's enough for them, then of course they could uh, move on. It, but uh, they can also come back and continue with level two on up through level four. Mm -hmm. So it, uh, we could easily have people that come to us with various different uh, levels of training already, and uh, we can accommodate them. So for anybody out there who wants to register, what's the fastest way to, to get involved? Okay, well just go to our website. It's inspirekmantraining.com and there's an admission form on the website. All they need to do is fill out that form and it automatically will then email it to our email address, which is info at inspirekmantraining.com. Easy. Absolutely, super easy. <coughs> There's always been talk about a vocational school, but I don't think people realize that CUC, um, for the past over 10 years, um, has been offering vocational training um, to your employees. Now this is being opened up to the general public. Um, tell me, how is it going to work between CUC and Inspire Cayman Training? So for the first year that Inspire Cayman is um, involved in NCCR, CUC is recognized as an accredited training sponsor. And what that means is for the first year we will um, be available for audits to verify the records, the trainers who are going to be conducting the training, um, we are going to be involved in some of the courses um, and ensure that the candidates who are being considered for the courses are suitable. Mm. Uh, we're verifying the records before they are provided for verification. Um, so we are, we're actually um, proud that NCCR CCR has recognized us in this way um, to, to offer this type of support to Inspire Cayman. So you have a relationship, they trust CUC to, to go in to ensure that what is on the curriculum is being taught, that students are passing their exams. Just in general now, um, if somebody is walking through the door and they have a different uh, vocational training program on their resume, what does that mean to an HR professional? So for us, it's important that um, our employees are trained. So a lot of our younger employees who come into this field start off as high school graduates. So right away, mm -hmm. we try to identify programs that are relevant to the field of study that they're going to be in. So if it's an electrician, um, you know, NCCR offers a comprehensive apprentice electrician program, uh, mechanical, um, and so NCCR provides a standardized um, training program that's externally and, and internationally recognized. So even if that um, person um, decides that they no longer want to stay with CUC, that accreditation will, will go with them. But you still invest. We still invest as a part of our commitment to the community. And there you have it. Investing, it's what it's all about. CUC has partnered with Inspire Cayman Training Limited to ensure that the brand of NCCER is held up to standard. And now you know that Cayman has a reputable vocational school and is open for registration. Sign up at inspirekmantraining.com. <laughs>